Hey guys, it is Friday night here in the Philippines, so it is time for us to kick off our free-for-all weekend. And this weekend we are doing a tribute to wagons, the long roof hot rods. So, anyways, I brought out all of my wagons in my collection, at least all of the non-chase premium stuff. Um, still have some chase stuff, but I just wanted to stick with the regular run premium cars. And anyway, some of them you've seen over the past couple of weeks, such as the ones in this back row here, the first four here, are the fast wagons from Hot Wheels, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on them. And also the JDM wagon in there is also from the fast wagon set, that 69 Skyline van. Another one you've seen recently is this guy here. This is in my gasser video. This is the first edition of the 64 Nova wagon gasser that I did a wheel swap on. So that one you've seen. So we're not going to do... Oh, a, or we're not going to spend a whole lot of time on those guys. So basically we'll start with the JDM stuff, the Nissan stuff that you see over here on the far right. Um, under the Nissan tent, that's why I brought out that tent again to kind of set the theme for our Datsun 510s and our 69 Skyline vans. So we'll start with these guys. And this is your first release of the 69 Skyline van. A uh, really nice conservative look with this like greenish blue metallic and the like saddle colored interior, I guess I would call it. And then the windows are kind of like a pink tinted windows. Your typical small diameter four spoke wheels that were popular in Japan for the JDM era uh, or JDM uh, culture. So anyways, you have detailed headlights, detailed grill, detailed tail lights. Really nice piece. Really dig this one. One of my favorite wagons. Actually, uh, I would put it up there probably in the top five out of all of these. So this is really cool casting. And as I said, the one thing that really appeals to me the most is a conservative look. Then my second one that I had got is this purple one back here. This is your melon from 2019. So really cool piece and uh, really happy to get this uh, one in my collection. Actually, this is the one from 2020. Sorry, not 2019. Uh, but this is the first one. It was a Dollar General melon from 2020. So really am happy to have that. Love the Hot Wheel livery. And then the third one that I picked up was the one you see back there under the tent, which you guys got to look at when we unboxed the Fast Wagons a couple weeks ago. I left the icon <clears throat> at the end of our video for the Fast Wagon unboxing. That way you can check it out uh, on its own if you want a comprehensive look at those five wagons from that set. That link is at the end of the video. Um... Then moving on to the Datsun 510 wagons. This is one of the more famous retail uh, premium releases. This is from your Japan Historics 1 set, the Advan livery. And this is one of the first uh, car culture releases when they were still on the small cards, when they did not have detailed headlights and grill and such. And this one has kind of like a semi-smooth grill. It's not really textured or 100%, but it does have some texture in it a little bit. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's just orange pill on the paint or if that is like um, too much paint covering some of the holes in the mesh. So I'm not sure on that one. Uh, then, you know, you have no tail light decals either on these older car culture releases. Still so yet... <clears throat> A very, very cool wagon. Very cool release. One of the more popular ones. And then um, the next one that I have is a more detailed one. This came from our Nissan box set. That first Team Transport box set that was released a year or so ago. Uh, the first Nissan set anyways with the 510, the Laurel, and the 240Z 
and then the retro, or not the retro rig, but it was the aero lift, I believe. Then there's the new Nissan set, which is really cool. I still need to get with the R32, R33, and R34. But this is from the first Nissan set, and it has Kato House graphics, which is really cool. Really stoked about getting those new Kato House Mini GT 510 coupes that are coming up real soon. Um, already got my pre-order in and cannot wait to get them in hand. But this is nicely done, this wagon, with the decals on the grill, headlights, tail lights, even your dots and emblem on the rear tailgate. Very nicely done. Color match chassis, that way you have the front spoiler, the color match the body and such. So really, really nicely done casting um or variation of that casting i should say um so those are our jdm wagons for today um and mostly all of the euro stuff you've already seen which is the volvos and the audi and now moving on to some american wagons uh the first ones we'll do are the outer worlds so one of my favorites, even in my drag racing stuff, is this lead sled here. The Auto World 69 Chevy with the livery for drag racing on it. Lead sled and all the co-sponsor decals and the side windows. Looks really cool. Even the plate is really cool because the plate indicates big block. I don't think it has a front plate. Huh, I thought this one did say big block. I guess it's just a green one. This one doesn't have plates, I guess, because it's drag racing use only, maybe. But, yeah, I thought this one said big block. It's the green one that I'll show you next. Uh, but still, this is a really cool piece. It's a five-spoke Krager wheels. It does have an opening hood. And as always, Auto World does an exceptional job with the detail of the engine. And... As you can see, really nicely done with radiator hose, the air cleaner. Everything is nicely detailed, even the washer bottle or overflow bottle. I'm not sure which one that would be. Um, but anyways, very nicely detailed wagon from Auto World. Love their 69 Chevy. Now, this is the guy that has the plate that says big block which is cool because these probably came with a 396 in them maybe even a 427 but i gotta say most likely 396 since it's a 69 it would not have been a 454 but it would have been 396 or 427 but as i said most likely 396 so really cool family car look green with the wood sides you know, they're just painted brown, but it's supposed to simulate the wood grain. Really cool wagon. Love the roof rack and such. Um, very nicely detailed. And once again, the opening hood with the big block. So really cool. This one has a black painted air cleaner. I guess for a more of a stock look, that one had silver painted to kind of give it more of a hot rod look, I guess. So, those are two of my other favorite wagons in my collection. I would say in the top five would definitely be the lead sled. And then, as I mentioned, the Skyline van, the conservative one. Really dig that car. So, the last Auto World wagon I have is their Buick Estate wagon. This is a really cool one. like this maroon metallic paint. Um, and then the simulated wood grain side, the Buick style rally wheels. I think this is a 74 Buick wagon. Looks really, really good. I'm not sure what the plate says on this one. Relax, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Colorado, I think, is the plate. Uh, then the opening hood. This one's a little harder to open. Well, I 
should have kept that one device I had to open the super hoods because I cannot get this one open, guys. Sorry about that. But anyways, you know, they always have a really nicely detailed engine. They always do a great job on that. So this is the last Auto World wagon I have for now. I'm really, really excited about the upcoming Nova wagon that they're releasing. That's going to be similar to this guy, but not a gasser. It's just all bone stock, but still really, really excited to get my hands on a couple of them. Um, so that's the next one in the wagon and wagons for Auto World that I think should be coming out in the next release if it's not already out. Uh, so next ones we have are, uh, well, from Greenlight. <clears throat> This one is one of my favorite wagons, too. This is the may be made to look like the official pace car. Actually, I think they had a couple of these wagon pace cars in reality. But it looks really good in the hearse paint, the white with the gold striping, the gold rally wheels, white letter tires. Really, really cool car. This is the medical director, they're saying. Ram Air Hood. Uh, the hood... I don't think opens on this. I just think it has the cutout. Yeah, it does not open. It just has the cutouts for it. The tailgate opens, but be very careful with it because mine, the hinge broke because it was so uh, tight with the paint or something for some reason, but the one hinge over on this side snapped. So had to be really, really careful. As you can see, the crack in the metal and the die cast there so just be really careful when opening it if you do decide to open yours so really cool wagon really like the look of like the Olds 442 on a wagon looks really cool and then well the next one is another 442 looking wagon this came from the Waikiki set the four car set from Green Light. I also have the Raw Chase variant of this car, which also looks pretty good. It just looks like a silver 442 wagon with white stripes. Uh, but just like the nice conservative look of this, it looks like a stock like 442, but on a wagon with all the striping. The American five spokes or Krager five spokes look really cool. Surfboard looks really correct on a this wagon looks like something you would see on the beach. Love these old Vista Cruisers. Looks really good in this paint trim. So, next one, or next one, is their 55 Chevy panel. And you guys seen this one a lot around Christmas. It was in my diorama. Uh, so, this is your 55 Chevy panel for the Christmas tree farm of Bob. Bob's Christmas Tree Farm, or Tree Farm. And this came from the first release of the Norman Rockwell series from, I think, 2018 or 2019. I think 2018. Uh, really cool casting. And this one also has opening tailgate, uh, rear hatch, and then the roof rack does come with a Christmas tree, but I did not bring it out. Has the hitch for the trailer, which is also a cool feature on their wagon series from Green Light. So pretty cool piece. Um, and I think that does it for our Green Light releases. So let's move these Auto Worlds. I'll put a couple of them in the lineup here. That way we can fit all these on or in the parking lot on this display mat so next one we'll do is from uh muscle machines this is from your jesse james lineup you guys probably seen this in a couple of my videos in my lowrider videos in like my other wagon video i did this is a beautiful casting from the muscle machines uh, company and it does have an opening hood with a detailed inline six which is really cool um, and then the trim everything's beautifully done the chrome wire spoke wheels look really good even if you look through the back window they have the hydraulic pumps and batteries and such it looks really good on this car and this one does have working suspension it's if you push down on it 
Let's see if we can get it to work. Huh, that may be a harder surface. There we go. So now as you can see, he's up in the air a little bit. It's not like a drastic change. It doesn't lift way up like some of the Ravel lowriders or Hot Wheels lowriders, like their new Impala, but it does more conservative. It's like, now it's lowered. So maybe two inch raise and lower if it was a one to one car. But yeah, it does have that functionality of the suspension. So pretty cool. It has something. And a uh, very nicely detailed car. As I said, really like the businessman wagon two-door. All the details are perfect. The pinstriping, everything is nice on this vehicle. Very nice detail on the chassis. So very cool piece to have. Um, really surprised that they didn't make more of these or didn't come out with a different series or I'm surprised nobody picked up this casting and started using it because it's beautiful. So our next ones are going to be Hot Wheels and the first one is a 59 Chevy sedan delivery. Love this casting, love 59 Chevys, so this sedan delivery is really cool. This is a Zamac from back in 16 or 17. It was one of the melons and really cool piece. Looks good with this tribal flame tampo and the 10 spoke style wheels look really good. The blacked out center of the hood on the louvers looks really good. Some detail on the grill. At least it looks like the center is blacked a little bit, so it looks pretty good. Um, detailed tail lights, Hot Wheels license plate, blue tinted windows, looks really good. Love this casting. I have the Super Treasure Hunt of that also. Has some other wagon, uh, the Nova wagon, Super Treasure Hunt too. Didn't bring them out though. Just figured 20, I think there's 20 or 22 wagons that I brought out today. Figured that was enough for us. Um, instead of going upwards of like 30 pieces if I brought out all the chase stuff too. So moving along, this is a wagon that I don't even know if I showed you guys before. This is a Hot Wheels 71 satellite wagon. This comes from the Retro Entertainment lineup and it's supposed to represent the Brady Bunch's car. Um, and it's a very nice casting. Uh, the, like, different size wheels, front and rear, make it look like your typical Hot Wheels, so it kind of loses that realistic look, and also having a shaker hood kind of makes it lose that realistic look of a real satellite wagon for the Brady Bunch, but... I guess they modded it that way so it could be used in different lineups because I've seen this in the pop culture series a few times. I think its second appearance was in like a Looney Tunes pop culture lineup with the Tasmanian Devil or something like that. But a uh, really cool piece, nice conservative look and the gold metallic, the side trim. So not overdone like a pop culture car. It has just your conservative paint, detailed headlights and detailed tail lights with the Plymouth nameplate across the back and some bumper sticker it looks like on the tailgate too. Don't know exactly what that would be to indicate or say um, but looks really cool nice piece uh, then the next one in the lineup is another wagon I'm not sure I showed you guys before this is from your garage lineup from 2011 this is their 70 Chevelle wagon nice conservative look this is one of the more conservative releases of the Chevelle wagon from Hot Wheels and this is cool because it says SS I'm not sure if it says L88 I believe it does or LS6 it's kind of hard I think LS6 maybe or L88 I think it says L88 
Now these never came with an L88, but it's even the wrong year. But anyways, uh, this would have, if Big Block Chevelle would have had an LS6 454, but it wouldn't have been in a wagon anyways. Probably could get a 454 in the wagon, but uh, not the LS6 and definitely could not have got an L88 in it. Uh, the L88 is a 427. But anyway, still a cool piece um, and looks really conservative. As I mentioned, with this like metallic maroon and then just your stock side trim, the SS badging, these five slot wheels look really good on the car with the red line tires. Then you have like some ghosted in flames on the hood, then your black SS stripes, tinted windows, and then stock looking front end. No SS in the grill though, that's kind of surprising. Uh, then detailed headlights, hood pins, so very cool casting. Always love their Chevelle wagon casting, very cool piece. And then last but not least is one of my favorites, probably another one that would go in the top five. So we have my lead sled from Auto World, then we have the Skyline Van, from the Hot Wheels Cargo Carriers series, and then this big guy here. This is my Cadillac Woody, 59 Caddy Woody from the Hot Wheels 100% lineup uh, from back in the early 2000s. And as you can see, the rubber band started eating my paint a little bit. It ate the clear off, but didn't really penetrate the paint, fortunately. Didn't get the hood. And these ones, the orange one, specifically the orange one, was made to look faded. The green one in the Hard Rock, or the mint green one in the Hard Rock Cafe set, um, looked very shiny and looked brand new. Then there's another single black box one, like the orange one. Uh, it's yellow, and it also had like pristine fit paint. But all of the orange ones had this faded look to them. Very cool opening hood. Detailed engine, all metal, detailed chassis, very cool piece. And then the surfboards are removable. So really cool. It has a little slot inside that they slide into. So that was another unique feature on these that you could remove the surfboards. And they're detailed, painted with flames. They have their own tampos. So really cool feature on these wagons but as you can see they slide into those slots inside and they will not come back out so nice detailed tail lights and then this one says smory not sure what that's supposed to indicate but yeah it's uh s'more and two e's so yeah whatever that's supposed to mean um, but really cool looking wagon. Really dig this one. Too bad about the clear coat, but hey, as long as it didn't eat all the way through the paint, and plus the paint's already made to look faded on the roof and hood, so I guess even that like clear being gone on the fenders kind of is suiting for that look of the car, that patinaed look. So there's our wagons, guys. So taking a brief look back at them. So that's our <clears throat> Wagon Weekend video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. And this, as I said, are all of the wagons in my collection. I do love my wagons. So whenever I find a cool one, definitely pick it up and put in the collection. Uh, I may bring you another video this weekend. Not sure if it's gonna be an unboxing or another like comparison video or something. But we'll probably do something again on Sunday. Um, but it just depends on my time. Uh, but anyways, uh, I left an icon here on the left for the Fast Wagon unboxing I did a couple weeks ago in case you want to get a closer look at these guys and get a comprehensive review of them. That video is here on the left side. And then there's a link for subscribing. So if you guys have not subscribed, please remember to do so. Please give me a thumbs up. Please share the video. Uh, I 
Also, I'm on Instagram. I left the link in the description of the video and also a link for my Twitter. And I'm also on Reddit, too. If you guys want to look me up there, if you're on Reddit, I've been doing some stuff there, too. So I'm all over social media, guys. So you can find me in other places besides YouTube. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in a day or so.